Market Marketing Communication. And I'm standing right in front of our VR van, Network Emergency Response Vehicle. There's only two of them worldwide. One of them is parked in RTP, the other one is in San Jose. Our driver, Robert, drove all the way from RTP to join us here at the Stewie Tech this week. And your van is an emergency vehicle, which is usually parked at a place where there's no infrastructure, and it opens its doors to help utility companies bring their businesses back up. And your van helps utility customers recover their communications so they can restore their infrastructure when there's an outage. And that's not all. Nervan is also a great way to show how all these technologies work together, from telepresence to wireless mesh and items. So now let's take a peek. Okay, now we're in the engineering section of the Nervan, which is in the, which is the front part of the van. I'm with Rakesh Baranya, who is a technical operations manager, and he's going to give us a quick overview of the Nervan. All right, Hi, Rakesh. Hey, how's it going? Great. So we're currently, as you said, in the engineering section of the NERV. Uh, this is one of several vehicles that Cisco has that we deploy to emergencies all over the country. Up here, that gives us a lot of capabilities from networking and VPN and security to um, we have a, a number of Hello. videos, uh, video capability, video surveillance, video operations. We also have uh, a number of different radio systems on board. And this is a really important capability because this allows us to do radio interoperability. Emergencies like 9-11, like Katrina, uh, you've seen situations where first responders can communicate back and forth using radios. So what we can do is when we arrive on scene, we can become the bridge that ties together different organizations' radio and communication systems. We also have a number of IP phones on board. Yep. We have a number of uh, a cache of different IP phone systems, both wired and wireless. Yep. Great. So, so this allows us to bring a whole bunch of different types of information, voice, video, data, radio communications, and then provide that to incident command staff and the people who have to manage the crisis. Mm -hmm. And what is that behind you? This is our power panel here. This power panel uh, allows us to power up the vehicle, controls our generator systems, and uh, just manages what, what we're doing. Awesome. Great. Thank okay. you. Now let's walk to the other end of All the right. van. Okay, now we're at the command center of the nerve van. So Rakesh, what's going on here? All right, so we just left the engineering section. This area here is a conference room for the leadership for an emergency. So your police chiefs, your fire chiefs, the managers who would actually coordinate the response to an incident, they're back here. Any of the information that we can get up in the front in the engineering section, we can display back here for the benefit of the leadership. Okay. The idea is that they can make decisions with all of the different types of information available to them. Great. In the back here, we have a number of different technologies. We have a fax printer that actually works over our satellite. We have, again, another s series of IP phones here. We have a cache of wireless IP phones that actually work off of our mesh wireless network. Great. And the big thing that we have is Cisco Telepresence. Is that a live person? Yes, this is actually a live pre person. Hey, say wow. hi, Vic. Hey, guys. Hi, Vic. Welcome to San Jose. Thanks so, for joining us. Vic is joining us from San Jose. Yes. And so we're actually doing telepresence here, but unlike any telepresence that other Cisco people have seen before, mm -hmm. we're actually doing telepresence over satellite. We're going up to a geosynchronous satellite oh, wow. and back down and running across to the telepresence exchange. So the fact that we're doing this from a mobile vehicle is what's really cool. So if uh, leadership here at the emergency needs to collaborate with somebody far away, thousands of miles away, all they have to do is place a, a simple telepresence call and instantly they can collaborate with people who are not here at the emergency. That's wonderful. Well, behind your cash is the door opening, so do you want to just open yeah, it and show our audience that we are actually standing inside the van? <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> here's the exit. Rakesh, can you tell me just a little bit about the Nerf van and why our utility customers think it's pretty cool? Well, the Nerf vehicle has a whole suite of communications for disaster response, crisis communications, and what we're finding is that a lot of our utility customers, especially in the wake of things like Haiti and the Chilean earthquakes, um, they really want to reevaluate what their own plans are for business resiliency and crisis communications. Moving to a network-based platform really allows them a lot of flexibility. And of course, being utilities, if they can't recover their own business operations, then they can't recover the grid and they can't turn the power back on for everybody else. So it's really important that they need to be able to communicate, coordinate, and collaborate amongst each other. 
thanks for taking a ride with us on the NER van. It was definitely a lot of fun. This is clearly where the future of emergency communications is heading. See you next time!